welcome, it's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. Surroundings has always been something that we have been taught is super important. From childhood, we're aware of the friends that we have and the bullies and the people who want special attention and the people who are arrogant and things of that nature. We're taught that from a very young age. We still see it to this day from a very young age what surroundings can actually do to ourselves and our children. The conflict comes when we don't take the time to constantly assess our surroundings. We have our ability to look and see things, but we still don't pay attention to the progressive goals that you continuously have. Now, with every sense of life comes a different level, a different level of success, a different level of friendships, a different level of surroundings. The key is to continuously understand that at every level, you have to assess it again, and you have to assess your surroundings again. Now, how many times have we heard people say, or you know, old people come around us and say, not everybody can go with you on every level? We know it, we understand it. The question for me remains, are we really conscious of what that actually means? I mean, how many times have you continued to try to surround yourself with people who you know just could not actually catapult you, pray you through, faith you through to the next level. You have to understand the same way all of us have to understand at every level, there is an assessment that has to be made. There is a breaking point to adjust your surroundings for where you're trying to go. And sometimes it's a heavy hit scenario because it may be something or someone that you are completely close to and you have no desire to do anything more than to see this person through whatever their dream was. I mean, let's be honest. If we call this person a family or friend, you want them to succeed. There's nothing about you that does not. The difficulty comes when the expectations of your progression creates a expectancy from the other person to continuously keep you in their midst or to keep you in their surroundings. You want to fight to understand that you have to be very aware of what the person brings to the table and what you can do for them and how much of that is going to meet in the middle. A lot of our family and friends expect us to continuously keep them in our surroundings but yet our effort is all that's moving them. Their effort is not meeting you in the middle, but yet they expect you to continuously keep them in your surroundings. Now, it's funny because it's complicated to have a conversation with someone who is not doing their part. You may say, well, what do you mean doing their part? Again, only the people that are close to you can actually get underneath your skin. Your enemies, absolutely fine. You could care less what they think. You could care less how the haters, quote unquote, work in the world. But the people that you are trying to take with you, usually the people that you want to validate you or that you want to love and you want to give them back for something that they've done to you, they're usually the hardest pressed to actually work equivalently as hard as you are to move to the next level. They usually play a role of only looking at what they've done to say, well, I did that for you and you should wanna do something for me on this part of your life because you know, you're now very successful and remember where you came from. Here's the funny part. I don't think anyone has a problem with remembering where they came from. Truthfully, I'm not trying to remember where I came from. I'm trying to remember where I'm going. I'm pretty clear on where I came from, but I don't want that to be the entire thought pattern of what my thoughts are doing because I understand that I need to focus on where I'm going. You want to be aware of where you've come from, but you don't want to be in a position where that's what your entire thought base is. Now, some people might say, well, that makes no sense. Yes, it does. You don't want to drive a car and continue to look in the rear view mirror. You know where you're coming from, but you also know that you're driving the car to get where you're trying to go, not where you're coming from. So you have to make sure that the people in your life that are trying to go with you to the next level are equipped to do that. And sometimes that is a very hard decision to make. We do not want to leave anyone that we love behind, but to be truthfully honest with you, 
not everyone can go with you during the journey. And I'm a strong believer in getting to where I'm trying to go and reaching back and helping people who, again, have put forth an effort for me to match their effort, but I'm not a fan of reaching back for people who just stayed stagnant and not moved and expected me to simply reach back. I find that to be a little disrespectful. I've read so many uh, quotes online that talk about, you know, make sure that you reach back, make sure that you give back. I'm always interested to understand how we actually feel like once a person's made it, it's our decision to tell them what they can or cannot do with the successes of their life and how they're obligated to reach back. I don't know if I feel like everyone should be obligated to reach back. So that's just something that I'd have to ponder during the time of me trying to do this video and further on in my day as to if I actually believe that. If a person says, hey, Persita, I need $10,000, but I've raised five, I'm more inclined to give them the other five. But if you're telling me that you need $10,000 and you've not raised anything, my question will always remain, how much do you believe in yourself? How much are you willing to sacrifice in order to get to the next level? That's what I mean by putting forth effort to remain in a surrounding of a progressive person. Progressive people have an obligation to really give everything they can to themselves. Now, some people might call that selfish. Puts it in perspective for me that that's not selfish at all. If I am trying to go somewhere and I want to progress, then I have to get there. If I'm riding a bike and the bike only has one seat, I might not be able to put you on my handlebars. But if I say to you, start walking, I'm gonna go get to the destination, get the car and come back, I should not have to drive back to the point of where I dropped you off in order to pick you up. You should be progressively moving towards where I'm going so that even my journey back is shorter. But again, I think a little different and maybe that's not your thought pattern. But I would still submit to you today that people around you, even if they're not moving as fast as you are or in the exact mindset that you are, they should still should be moving. The word is still moving. Surroundings are constantly moving. There's nothing about life that should be stagnant. Everything is a constant movement. We are a living being. Things that are living are growing. They are not sitting stagnant. So I submit to you today, watch your surroundings, really pay attention to what's going on and understand that there is absolutely no fault in assessing at every level of your transition who's trying to go with you and if they're able to. And sometimes that's a hard decision, but do yourself the favor of reaching your goal before you try to help someone. Always think of this analogy. If you're on the airplane and the plane is losing oxygen, the first thing that it does is deploy down the air mask. And the first thing it tells the adults is to put the mask on yourself to then be able to help your child. It's the exact same way in life. You must put the mask on yourself and be stable enough for yourself to be able to help someone else. You cannot help someone if you haven't reached where you're trying to go. Then you both lose because there's no way for the person to help you to sustain what you're doing. So you wanna get strong legs, a good foundation, so that you can help. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, comment below if you'd like to give me some feedback on what I said. Remember to like and share it. Thank you so much for the new subscribers. You're awesome. You guys are commenting more. I'm stoked. Thank you again so much. And please remember to do three things. Live life authentic. Have a blessed day.